Hello everybody, Sift here again and today we'll be doing a sponsored video on Legend of Keepers, more specifically the Soul Smugglers DLC. Now I have played this game before, but I will start mentioning again every single thing for, about the game in the beginning, you know, for the first 15-20 minutes so that everybody understands what's going on and then we will get into the classic, uh, you know, play the game. Now the game specifically is a turn-based combat game where you are the evil lord that has his castle or ruins or whatever we are, you know, defending and then the opponents will be coming in three heroes at a time while we also have three monsters on our side that will fight against those heroes. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Now, first of all... Yes, age brings experience. So first of all, this is the new, uh, I would say not hero, I guess the new god or the new evil lord or whatever it is, um, lord here, which uh, as far as I understand is focused on doing morale damage, but those are already... <laughs> You know, words that uh, maybe not all of you understand, but it doesn't matter. The only thing that I need to explain right now before we begin is that I started with a talent that says that when I steal, when a hero loses soul fragment, which even I don't know how exactly that works right now, they have a chance to get a debuff. That's the only thing that I wanted to mention here in the beginning, just so you don't get confused later. So keep that in mind for when opponents will start having random debuffs at some point. But uh, yeah, let's get into a run right away. So I start explaining instantly what is going to be happening here. Oh no, no, there was voice acting here at the beginning, but because I did like a test run beca before I begun, we lost the thing. Well, she was like, our manager was coming and saying that uh, uh, the dust webs have to be dusted again and whatnot, but it, it doesn't matter. We will get voice acting at the very end where we're going to win the run, hopefully. So uh, let give me a sec here to just name these units we have based on our Patreons, and then we're going to actually begin the run. Okay, and I did the naming. Now, I got the random name that's Megumi, and I'm not gonna lose the chance to call her Megumin. And uh, yeah, we're gonna just go on with that. Now, I will start explaining a couple of things here in a moment. So let's get into the run so that I can explain actually what's gonna be happening here for the game and how it's played. Now, first of all, this is, you know, the opponent's hero that come to join the fight to, to defeat the Lord, the Master. Um, and they all have very specific things that we need to pay attention to. First of all, they have life and morale. Uh, that's more to know if we should target the morale damage or life damage to destroy them. But the only actual important thing in this game, in my opinion is down here the defenses they have so that we know what we can do against them but even more importantly is the attack they have for example this guy has a 3d physical attack that he does in the front line this guy has a 45 the air damage attack that he does in the front line and this guy has a 16 ice damage that he does to everybody now how we're gonna use these this info i'm gonna tell you in a bit but for now we're gonna first start with the first drop we're gonna lay out so this layout here is random and uh, we choose just what to put in each layout right so for example here i'm forced to put a trap but i decide what trap to put and here i'm forced to pick uh, you know monsters but i decide in which um, order i'm gonna place them so uh, let's go with the following two traps are the ones we have we have pop quiz which says that opponents lose 40 morale which is the lower life they have here and it ricochets to the hero behind the target if the target is the hero with the lowest morale. Well, this guy is actually the target with the lowest morale, so might as well go for the pop quiz. We're gonna have the, the, the most dangerous trap that you can find in a dungeon, a pop quiz. Now, this is the first combat room, so now is the important part of um, what damage to do. So, for example, we have to count together where all the damage pops. For example, 3D physical in the front line and another 45 air damage in the front line. So, we want to use a monster in the front that has a lot of armor and a lot of um, air resistance, you know, air resistance. And that hero, that monster would be this thing, right? It has 4D armor and zero air resistance or, or this thing which has minus 4D armor, which means it's gonna get one shot by this guy. But at least it has 50 air resistance, right? Now, at the end of the day, I'm kidding. We're obviously going to use this thing. Even though it has zero air resistance, at least it has 40 armor resistance. So it hopefully will survive. I mean, I don't know. And then after that, I guess we can put whatever. Uh, yeah, I mean, after that, we can put whatever. Because at the end of the day, if the front line falls, everything falls. So just go here with Megumin and also with Sierra at the very end. And um, yeah, my units also have different attacks. But I'm going to be talking about them when the time comes to actually start using attacks. Now, uh, same goes for here. Frontline should have armor and air resistance. Well, that is not... Oh, this guy has armor and air resistance, so he goes in the front. And then after him, well, whatever is behind him is gonna literally die in two shots, so it doesn't matter. Let's go continue. We have a first Pandora's box trap here. We can't do anything. This trap does damn moral to everybody. As you see over here, 
as you see, um, I mean, I'm not allowed, but as you see in this spot where I'm circling, there's it says area and it shows you where exactly the attacks. That's also the same with these guys. If he attacks the front, you can see this. It's a very left spot. So yeah, this thing, 10 moral damage to everybody and also um, stacks more penalties if I give penalties to the opponent from the previous fight, right? Let's continue here. And this is my master at the very end. Well, pop quiz boys. Boom, they also lost for the uh, morale each. Yep, he starts with passive. Oh, by the way, something I didn't mention. Opponents also have passives other than their actives. But they most of the time are just a one-time thing, so who cares? Yeah, he, for example, replaces one of the penalties with a bonus boon at the start of the turn once. Who cares? Who cares? Um, and here are our moves. Like, all of our monsters, some have passives, some have actives. And, like, all of them have actives, but some also have passives. This guy, for example, has... Actually, right now, the one that is attacking is not that guy. It's Xeroch. Xeroch, for example, has 3d6 air damage in the back line and also air weakness or... 3d2 morale damage in the front line and also demoralize demoralize is a fragment um demoralize is you know a debuff that is written right below that that does pretty much morale poison damage now i don't see any fragments in these guys so i guess fragments are pretty relevant right now so let's do this let's use the front by the way this also says that if i have a fragment which i don't it does a 3d2 damage on top of that. wait a minute do i have a fragment is this a fragment i guess this is the slot for the fragment let's do this Yep, he lost morale, and he also demoralized. Next attack we can do either 3D morale damage to the backline and tiredness. Tiredness is they do 20% less damage, 20 less damage, so 10 times for each tiredness. Or the front line, we can do 3D damage and apply vulnerable. I mean, the front line is most likely going to die from morale, so we're going to do morale damage to the backline. And also make it do less damage. Yep, we're still alive. Still alive, and this guy, at least he got one turn to play because he's going to get destroyed the next turn. So this guy has either 15 physical and 35 morale on the backline, plus terrified, terrified makes it so oh no 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 the terrified only gets applied if the opponent has negative armor does this guy have negative armor yes he has so if i do this it's also gonna play terrified terrified makes it so that morale attacks do 50 percent more or he can do flame strike 10 damage and 10 morale damage to everybody and also applies burn uh i think i think i want to go with um i think i want to go with this uh, assuming that these two are going to be able to kill the front line so let's go with apply terrified the back line and you're gonna die here my dude bye bye he's told now we play again. We're gonna go with the front line, air and morale damage plus demoralized. Now this guy has demoralized times three, so he's pretty much already dead. Uh, you can see he only has seven morale right now, which means he's gonna survive the next attack. Well, we're gonna lose a bunch of people, but what can I do? Back line gets hit for terrified. Uh, not terrified. He, she gets damaged. Okay, this guy actually went away. Very nice. Yeah, because demoralization does 10 damage per, per, per all. We're gonna continue doing the morale damage to the front line. We're gonna continue doing the morale damage to the back line. Yeah, we lost the hero here. Hope she's also dead. I guess not the hero, uh, but a spirit. Here we got one. Uh, this room here, the spell room, is when I have the time as a master to do one spell to destroy the opponents. So we either can do 27 to everybody, which is gonna, as you see, make the one on the left will go away. Gain one additional soul fragment if at least one soul fragment has been gained using the spell. Okay, I mean, I, I guess that isn't anything. What is this? Glacial spirit. Damaging attacks apply frost by two. Oh, okay, I guess I had some kind of passive here or something. I don't know what triggered that glacial spirit thing. Uh, 90 ice damage to the backline, which is a lot. And also apply silence 5, which is opponents cannot use their skills. I guess they can still attack though. And uh, front damage 45. Now we're gonna just go with... What is this, by the way? 45 air damage to the front line and also vulnerable. They take 3% more damage. So this is a setup to kill the front line. This is a uh, disable the backline pretty much. And we're gonna go for this too, obviously. Bye-bye. And she's the only one left. By the way, every time somebody leaves, another hero gets... Um, the other heroes get a bit afraid because they see their friends die or leave. So the, the motivation damage chains into each other. And also by making opponents be scared, as you see, damage taken increased by 75%. So even though you have done a bunch of morale damage, you're not forced to completely kill them with morale damage. You can also put a bit of damage in and then assassinate. But uh, yeah, as you see, this is supposed to do 40 damage, but he's taking a lot more than 40. Anyway, we're gonna make him leave. Bye-bye. And there's that. Now, I also want to get kills because whenever you kill a hero, you gain blood. And whenever you make a hero afraid, you gain tears. And tears is for upgrading traps, while blood is to upgrade units. And obviously, I want to be upgrading units. So let's see what units we got. We got a, we got a Naga here. By the way, the name of what the unit is, is in this corner. So we got a Naga here, which is 20 air damage and 10 morale damage. Ricochets to the hero position behind the target. If the target is morale, morale is above 50%. So this can do up to 30 damage to everybody. Or the below, which is 10 ice and damage 30. Damage and morale dealt in increased by 100% if the target is the last remaining hero. So this is pretty much either an assassin or it tries to hit everybody for a bit. 
we got here Mina, um, I guess a gargoyle, which is 18 air damage and 12 morale damage to everybody is the one choice, and the other is 45 air damage and bleed to the front line. And then we got this new unit I've never seen. This is a new unit, Baron, which is 40 morale on the front line, removes all bonus from the target. This is good, speci specifically in some very specific scenarios, and also 28 morale damage and applies terrified, which is really good because we're going heavily into this morale build. So uh, let's pick up Baron. And by the way, there are some heroes that completely counter morale builds, morale damage builds, so we will have a problem. Now, when your units die, they get quote unquote tired, okay, and they lose like this, uh, they lose motivation. If motivation goes to zero, then you cannot use the hero for a while, uh, I guess the monster for a while. Uh, otherwise, you can on your own decide to bench your heroes for uh, your monsters for a fight, and then they're gonna gain back morale. I'm explaining so many mechanics at the same time. I'm sorry for people that have or are already knowledge about this. Now, I would enjoy having, um, what is this, the, the Baron. I think in the front, I mean, in general, I want to be able to cover all the weaknesses. He adds fire resistance and air resistance to the mix. Fire resistance and air resistance is something I'm pretty much already covering the front line. And uh, the back line is also pretty much covering it, so he can be wherever. I guess I can have him in the front line. Actually, no, all the front line has good damage. I mean, all of these are pretty decent. Anyway, let, let's have them. Let, let's have the. Let's have the bear in the front. And let me also change his name. So, uh, give me a sec. I did the naming, and how it so happens that the Baron is DJ Southpaw. <laughs> I mean, he looks like a party person. Anyway, uh, let's see what we're gonna go for. So every time we do a fight, uh, after a week or like for about seven weeks, as you see, there are weeks, right? So for like seven weeks, we're now gonna be gaining a bunch of positive things. So we can either go to a merchant or a trainer, which I'm gonna go to the trainer just so you know, or the engineer. Engineer powers up your traps. Merchant gives you a choice to get more units. In general, merchant is good. But uh, I want to go for the trainer here because making your units more powerful is more important than getting more units, at least in my opinion. Um, let's see. So you can already see what you're going to gain per level up. So we're going to quickly go through. This guy gets applies one random penalty. Uh, applies one random penalty with three stacks to heroes affected by at least one penalty at the start of the possessed armor's turn. That means you go for the burn and then because they all have applied the burn, they all start getting random penalties. That's pretty much the combo here. Uh, monsters of the group deal 25% additional morale to heroes with a negative air resistance. Well, uh, first of all, she already does, you know, minus 40 air resistance with the first skill, but she, but opponents might also randomly have negative resistance, so this is a good thing. By the way, 175 to upgrade, 175 to upgrade, as you see we have 470 coins. All monsters on the group gain guaranteed crit at the start of the fight. Damage and moral damage dealt by the next attack is increased 50%. So this means that all of your, your units are gonna do 50% more damage as their first move. This is good because you can obviously blast through an opponent right away, turn 1. 12 air damage, wait, 12 air damage and applies demoralize 2 to all heroes when the ghost is defeated. So when this thing dies, it just kablooies and uh, does demoralize 2 to everybody. The air damage is pretty relevant. What do you gain? He gains an upgrade on the ice and apply silence to everybody skill that he has. I mean, pretty relevant. And he also gains 20 power. The power is very important, by the way. Like, the, the stat here, the power stat is very important because this it affects how much damage you do. And when you, for example, see that you have 40 power and something does 40 morale, that means that if I increase 10 damage on him, it, this is also going to increase by 10, right? Because as you see, it's 1 to 1. For example, on this guy, he has 35 power, but this does only 10 ice damage. Or well, this does only 21 ice damage. So this power to, to scale rate here is not 1 to 1. But you gain re regains 1 motivation when the horse face defeats a hero. Okay, I guess. Okay, he, he gains motivation back. So this is the thing that uh, throws him out of the fight. Removes all penalties applied from the monster in front of the Baron and regenerates the monster's life by 8 at the start of the Baron's turn. And if he has a fragment, he regenerates 20 life. So this guy is a healing support. Well, the front this does 40 damage and as you see, it's gonna do even more. I like the Baron. Let's go with Baron 1. Okay, let's go with Abrazite 2 because plus 20 power is really good, in my opinion. And also this is good, you know, when the opponents have a debuff, they start getting even more debuffs. Uh, and we're out of money, <laughs> and we're out of money. Maybe I should have gone with this guy. Maybe I should have gone with one of the other two, but uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. We're gonna gain more money later. Next one, let's go to a business trip. Now, event is an event, but it's pretty random. We're gonna go to business trip, which most of the time gives you money and stuff. You choose one of these, you lose them for whatever the duration it says that you lose them. For example, here I'm gonna lose her for eight weeks if I send her here, or if I send him here, we gain the Baron. We're gonna gain monsters placed at the front, lose 50 speed, but their max life is increased by 50%. So this is if we get a super tank in the front line, but but he will also lose one motiva motivation. So I think the only actual logical choices are either uh, Megumin for the bunch of gold and 20 blood, 
or you know be any man we're gonna go obviously with megumin as you know we want them more <laughs> and also the motivation is a throwaway there i'm gonna go workout which powers up your hero this is very good if it gives us power it doesn't give us power it gave us 10 armor which i was not able to get and speed all of these are irrelevant max life is in my opinion really relevant so we're gonna go with leave here and uh, let's make sure that our party is balanced. Yep, our party is balanced. We have a front line and a back line. And uh, yeah, let's go into this adventure. Now, I didn't uh, I didn't showcase what the adventure gives you. The, the adventures give you some statistics about what you're going to gain. Let's see what we get. So, uh, I will always do the following. I will only look what damage the opponents do. And if they have some ability that's relevant. But most of the time, I'm not going to read the abilities. So, this guy does ice in the front line. This guy's food in the back line. Uh, physical in the back line. And fire in the front line. So, I need a fire and ice in the front line resistant. Th those monsters are like three monsters in the whole game so we're gonna definitely have a problem with the front line yeah as you see this has fire resistance but not ice resistance this doesn't have anything and this doesn't it does have fire but does not have ice so uh we're gonna just assume that this guy's gonna die abrazite first then we're gonna go dg self per second so we got the wait a minute wait a minute wait wait wait, wait, wait. the back line needs to be able to block physical so you're gonna definitely go to the back line you're gonna be in the front line and just die yeah, you're gonna be the one that just died. DG health was second, uh, so that he heals you and also maybe tanks a bit. And Abrazai the backline should die last, as this 50 armor, physical armor in the backline is literally not gonna do anything. Uh, what is this? Deals 14 ace damage to the monsters with the lowest edge resistance on the start of each turn. Each turn of, of the fight. Okay, first regular trap encounter. Okay, let's go. Uh, so the first trap here is going to be obviously the pop quiz, in my opinion. Or I can do with Pandora's box, but no, let's go with the pop quiz. So I hit this guy and then also the backline. Let's continue. And here we got the second trap. Might as well go for the Pandora's box. I don't have to think about it. Let's go to the previous drop. This guy says that he dodges the first trap. So instead of wasting the 40 damage that's going to hit him and him, might as well go for the Pandora's box that just does 10 damage. And then and then we go with a pop quiz at the end. It's like, did you survive? Pop quiz. <laughs> pop quiz time. So once again, fire and nice in the front line. We do not have double resistances to those things. Um, assuming that the ice guy is going to be dead, we're going to go with the fire resistance in the front. And then we go like Tuli here and then Biani Man at the back as he has 25 armor. And uh, hopefully we're gonna survive. Let's go. Havat Adi. Holy. Holy. Poof. Uh, let's see where we go with this. Uh, 50 more on the front line or 35 in the back line. You know what? She has... Well, actually, he has ice resisted problems. So if we kill this guy quickly, Quan quickly, we will be very good. Where are the soul fragments, by the way? Let's see, we have the souls, but they're not getting... Let's go here. Oh, I'm the zombie, man. Ankimidera. The, the, I still remember all these things. Let's go here, boom. Nice. Oh, I got the soul fragment. Oh, you gained the fragment, I guess, randomly. Is what I understand here. This guy, because he had a debuff, he also got a nice resistance debuff for free. I guess I can go for this. Yeah, let's go for this. Apply burn to everybody. And now he plays and he assassinates the front line. Bye-bye. Zombie. Now these two are completely countering both of these. Like this guy takes 40 less flame damage. And this guy takes 25 less fire damage. So theoretically both of these are going to be able... Wow, what a roll. He debuffed her with Demoralized. The best roll you could have gotten. Now this says that if the opponents are burning, then this does double damage. So instead of doing 49 in the back line, I'm going to do 24 to both of them. Which is 48 damage, but at least I'm spreading it out. And also the faster I kill the front line, the faster I will have less opponents to deal with. Let's go with Burial. Zombie. Okay, she's gonna shoot. Still alive. Shoot. And Kimidera. Still alive. Very nice. They get debuffed. Wait, why do you get... Oh, yeah, because I started the round. We're gonna go... You know what? Because the frontline is definitely gonna die from the Baron, as she has only 40 morale left, we're gonna go and shoot the backline already. I don't need to apply flame to boats. Boom. And now she's also terrified, which means she's gonna take a lot more damage. She's gone. Bye. She got terrified from the terrification of the terrified friend of hers. Boom. My Baron is still alive. And we got him. And we didn't even... We only lost like literally one unit. So that's how powerful we are. Obviously, we scared them all. Let's see the trees. We already have read the Naga. Oh, by the way, the, the, the name is also here. Uh, 18 air damage and 9 morale to everybody. Or 18 morale to everybody and applies tiredness to... The second attack is very powerful. Like, 18 morale to all is not really that strong. But tiredness 2 to everybody. All opponents do 20% less damage. Really good. And what is this? Mot. This is a completely new enemy I'm from this DLC. 15 nature damage to the front line. Steals all bonus from the target. Awesome. If the opponent is like a hero. Like there are superheroes. The champions or whatnot that get a bunch of buffs. Uh, 15 air damage and applies a mental weakness. Pretty relevant. 
And the last passive he has is devours the monsters closest to its mouth and regenerates 50% of its max life at the start of the mod's turn. Wait, what? This thing kills my own monsters. No, 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 no. This, this does not join. We're gonna go with the Dark Magnus. We're gonna go with the Dark Magnus. <laughs> Definitely go for that. Uh, Xerox lost like one more all because he died. Uh, we're gonna go Trainer, obviously. As, um, yeah, I mean, Trainer is really good anyway. Let's go Trainer. Uh, if I increase Abrazite, not only is gonna gain life and armor, but he's also gonna gain either more passives. Like, this might go... Uh, you don't know what you get when you level them up when it is this arrow. So he either it's gonna be doing more damage, or it's gonna apply more Terrified, or this is gonna apply more Burn, or it's gonna do more damage. Like, you don't know what it's exactly is gonna happen. Uh, should I go with this? I think the Banshee is uh, Xerox pretty good. Banning Man is also really powerful, I think. Like, plus 10... This is literally plus 10 morale. And, uh... Both of these are really good, like 40 more on the front line, or at least the more or less 3. Ah, DG Hospital, what do you gain? He gains something for this. Wait. Oh, he applies Terrify in the back line? I didn't even realize. And plus 20 damage? Oh, this is insanely powerful. Because as you see, once again, 50, 50. So this is going to do 70 morale damage in the front line. We, 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 we get Baron upgraded for sure. Look at the 70 and 7. Wow, this is a death sentence to everybody that even is closer. And as you see, he even heals more. This is not the next level, this is the current level, so because he got power, he heals them more. And I can only upgrade the Bayani 1 at this point, so let's up also upgrade Bayani 1, and let's let's go. Also, let's not forget to name the next hero before I go into fight. Uh, we're gonna go event here, guaranteed, because Alchemist... Um, what the Alchemist does is you tr you change these uh, resources into each other, but we don't care about that. Let's go event. And we got a decent event here, I think. The Cleaning Goblin comes to see you. Weeping Slobby, his pecked, his stick insect died in a mopping accident. Will you take Slobby to the resurrection room to harvest the goblin's cheerful tears? Sell the corpse of a grimace chef or organize a funeral? So, <laughs> organize a funeral. What's this? Oh, you, you gain 40 tears out of that. Okay, I'm gonna go for money as uh, souls is definitely something I'm, I don't need that much of. And money is also important for leveling up your unit. So, there's that. Uh, I really enjoy that they have this exclamation mark thing. That says that you do not have enough money to go there, just don't go there. Therapist. Therapist is pretty much plus one morale to everybody, or plus two morale to everybody. I'm gonna go with plus one morale to everybody, as I'm literally only missing half a morale point. So let's go plus one morale to everybody. As far as I know, uh, people in business trips are exempt. Yep, Megumin in the business trip is exempt. And we're gonna get her back in two weeks, but the fight is in one week. So that means that if I go into business trip, I'm gonna lose a hero. If I'm going to plunder, uh, I'm not going to lose a hero, but uh, business trip in general are better because they also give you artifacts. I'm 50-50 on this. I'm 50-50 on this. If I send, for example, Xeroch or uh, Shara, we're going to be good. Or Tuli, like, I have a bunch of units that are not really that important. Let's go with the business trip here. Okay, what is this? Monsters placed at the front stay at one life instead of dying once per fight. Ooh, that sounds really good. Or we can go with one of these two. Mm, monsters place one turn, stay at one turn, it's not like once per fight. Okay, th th this sounds really good to me. Like, Berserker's Handbooks sounds really good to me, and I'm, it doesn't even cost me anything. One morale, who cares, and we just lose totally for um, pretty much two fights. Otherwise, I can go for Sharon. We just got this hero uh, monster, so it's as if nothing changes. You know what, let's go with money. I want money. Money means levels, and levels means power. Like, if you have leveled units and the opponents, uh, you're extremely powerful. Obviously, artifacts are also important, but I don't think that specific one. And now, for once, I remembered, you know, to actually read them. As you can see, I can choose where I want to go. I can either go to the easy fight here, which has three normal heroes, and it's going to reward me reward me with a new trap. You know, like I knew, get heroes, I also get traps. Uh, heroes, I mean monsters. Or I can go here in the back line, which is gonna give my master a bonus. And also it's gonna give us more money. We're gonna go to this ancient pyramid, but before we go, I wanna change the name here for Sharan, so give me a sec. Okay, oh, oops, sorry for that. Whoopsie, whoopsie, the Patreon names. So, um, yeah, we got Sparks at a million into our group now, and uh, let's just continue with the next fight. I'm gonna go to the hard fight. I'm gonna YOLO it a bit, because that master bonus and that gold bonus is gonna obviously power us up. And then if, if I get enough money to use Workout and Workout again, we're gonna get a very powerful Master. Because if you get like a powerful Master, nothing matters. Even if the opponents get to the Master, you destroy them. By the way, the Master also functions like a monster. As you see here on the bottom, it has normal attacks, it has normal defenses, it literally functions like a monster. Um, let's go through these guys. So, skill randomly moves all monsters. Yeah, we're gonna remember that. Replaces one of the penalty bonuses, blah blah blah. Applies dodge. And this guy is the, the important hero, for example. As you see, he, he has more passives and is a bit more dangerous, as far as I know, at least. Um, what does he apply dodge one to the hero with the lowest life percentage at the start of each fight? Can't be affected by the more Cannot be affected by the We already got an issue there. And also he does 70. Oh, this, this, is, this is a really dangerous fight. 
Uh, it doesn't matter though. Who has the least? Yeah, we're gonna go with a pop quiz as that is gonna do, you know, both of these a lot of damage. Here we're gonna start with air in the front line. That's literally the only thing that matters. All the other attacks do attack everybody. So I guess Euro goes first. She starts will go second, and that was it. Last once again, air damage in the front line, but the other two literally attack random. But I just realized this guy has randomly moves all monsters to another position at the start of the fight. So we need to mix this up and make it so that we um, we have them in the spots we don't want them in. So I don't want Ambrosite to be first, so Ambrosite's gonna be first. And I don't want... Actually, the sure thing is that I don't want DJ Southwo first. So I don't want him first, so he goes first. Then we're gonna go with Ambrosite second. And because I don't want Siroc last, for sure, uh, Siroc goes here. So they either will get uh, swapped towards the right. So like, he goes here, he goes here, and she goes here. Or it's gonna be to the left, which is gonna be like, he goes in the back, she goes here, and he goes here. Like, it, there is no other permutations, as uh, the units cannot get placed in their own spots that they started with. So he's either going to left and right, and then this is going to either go left or right, and etc, etc. Actually, if this goes left, this cannot go right, as um, these two changing positions mean that this thing uh, cannot change positions. So as you realize, it doesn't matter. I don't know why I'm that analytic. Anyway, let's go on. I I'm really sorry for talking about too much about stuff that might not be important. Then we go with uh, Biani Man in the front, as he has 50 air resistance, and then the other two can just be in whatever order. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Boom. A pop quiz, as you see, as is, as you see, they, they got super demoralized. And he starts applying dodge. And the mix-up was very mediocre. Not the worst possible outcome. I mean, yeah, this was the worst possible outcome. It, it was a right... Uh, a right. It, they, they mixed towards the right. I wanted them to mix towards the left. Um, yeah, we're gonna just get rid of the air damage in case we somehow make... And somehow we make uh, my little thing survive. Although that's not possible as... Oh, it is possible. No, it's not possible. I will get rid of the front line, but I think my front line is dead. Oh, oh, oh my second squad is dead. My front line is still alive. Well, she's not going to survive as she has bleed. But no, no, no. The, the Baron plays first, so she's going to definitely hear her. Yeah, that's good. Um, I would say let's attack everybody. If, if, the, if the Eduardo here is the only one left at the end, we're going to be better off than pretty much any other alternative. So let's go with a good old frame strike here. Boom. Okay, we heal her so she's alive and you can go. So that means my flame dude is gonna survive at least one more turn. Dingy, dingy, dingy. We lost a little uh, thingy there and he's dead and he's dead because we got bled and we got damaged too much. Okay, we attack the opponents. Time to debuff them. Oh, look how much damage I'm doing there in the back line. Look how much damage. Do these guys do damage? 50 air damage in the back line. How much air does this guy have? Zero. Okay, I can kill him. I can easily kill the backline. And by doing silence, he can't even use abilities. I... Yeah, I, I think I can kill him with the normal damage. So we're gonna go with the Frost to assassinate the backline. That's why you should never think that uh, you will always do the same thing in every single fight. Okay, and bye. Boom! And he died instantly. And uh, now your time has come, my dude. What do you do by in general? He doesn't have a passive. Okay, we're gonna go with Steel Gold. I guess this guy's Karen. Supposed to be Karen. Uh, let's apply Demoralize. Actually, because I want more blood than soul, let's go with damage. Boom. Okay, nothing of ours died. Uh, instead of going for damage here, I'm gonna slow play this. As I see, he doesn't do enough damage, so I'm gonna try to keep him alive by making Karen give us money. Yeah, we're, we're, we're farming gold right now. There is no skipping, so I guess the only thing I can possibly do here is do a good old soul cap, do this, and, and he's pretty much dead. Yep, he's dead. There was no nothing to be done there. Yeah, I got my 11 things, and now we upgrade our hero. 125, 120 life, completely relevant. Democles. This is one of my attacks, I guess, because I haven't used it ever. Instead of doing 54 damage, it does 65 damage, and it deals 100% of final damage to the hero position directly behind the target. Okay, so that's... 65 damage twice if I take this. Otherwise, the Hell Grip is the ability I'm using very often. It's 35 damage to everybody instead of 27 damage to everybody. You know what? We're gonna go with this. We're gonna go with the Hell Grip. I'm not gonna assume that opponents are gonna come next to us, uh, literally to the boss. If, if opponents get to the boss and we die, then I guess so be it. I don't know. But I think the, the spell here is gonna get more value for its money, I guess. And we were a bit unlucky and we got hit by two moral damage. Moral damage is either one or two when you get hit for it. We're gonna go work out to make our hero even more powerful. Uh, resistances would be good. Healing is useless. Uh, I don't want to spend blood for defense. How much defense does this guy have? 25. Uh, how much defense do I have in general in the party? That's important because if I have very low defenses, armor, armor, yeah, I don't have that much defense. Uh, I don't want to take this. I don't want to do that. 
I don't want to do that. It's going to not work out. Five HP regen also useless. All of these are useless. The only thing that actually matters is power and resistances or armor. And yeah, I, I skipped the armor. So we can either go to black market, which is literally you sell a unit for money, which I don't really want to do, or we go event. What is the event we got? One of your employees has accidentally discovered a long lost secret tunnel. It leads to treasure room filled with a rare valuable artifacts. You can keep everything for yourself, reward your employee with some gold or gift them the artifact. So I either keep money and yeah, this is like really good. So this is heroes with less than 50% of their maximum morale lose 30 to all resistances. This is if I want to do morale damage and then also assassinate them with normal damage, uh, which is good. This is I give them one motivation, which is who cares? And this is I level them up. Well, the thing is that, oh, this is I don't get this and I also level them up. Well, honestly speaking, I think I want to go for this. I think I want to keep everything for myself. And with that 200 money coins, I can even level her up. I mean, hmm. Nah, let's actually do this. Forget the forget the opponents lose resistance. Or, or, or do I forget? Give me a sec. What are my abilities, by the way? I either have 54 physical damage and also attack the second unit. Consume six full fragments to gain and rage 10. Okay. Oh, he has 3d2 soul fragments. Wait a minute. Do my units have soul fragments gathered? No. Okay, my, my boss starts though with... Um, yeah, my master starts with 3d2 soul fragments. Or minus 63 morale and applies demoralized. Okay, so he either does physical damage or morale damage. So this is pretty relevant as uh, this does not... S all resistance, I guess, is also defense. But, uh, let's level up, let's level up, let's level up. Let's go on. Let's go event. Uh, the event is, again, 3D... Uh, 3D um, tears for 15 blood. I'm gonna decline this because tears is the resource I easily gather. And here we're gonna go... F we're gonna gain a trap and some money. I think the... By the way, if I have, for example, zero here in the back line... She will get, as you see, plus three morale for relaxing. And I think it's a good time to go relax because this is like a level one adventurous, which is pretty much a joke fight. Do we resist everything? That's the only important part. Uh, ice resistance is my worst. And nature resistance is all, I'm all, also bad. So nature and ice is most likely going to kill us. Otherwise, we have a pretty decent team. So now, now that I mention it and now that I paid attention to it, we all know that it's going to be a nature and uh, ice fight for sure. Right. First of all, what do you have? What is this blue thing? Speed increased by 20. Okay. It removes the penalty with the most attacks. Who cares? Who has the less, the least uh, morale on the front line? So we can go pop quiz right away. She uh, dodges the first trap. And uh, give 25 of one hero's maximum morale back after a fight once. So I, I need to either kill them right away or, or just not let the first fight ever end. So, if ice, in the, and ice in the frost, air in the... F ice in the front line. And then air and physical in the back line. Air and physical in the back line is gonna be Abrazite. So ice in the frost, uh, ice in the frost and uh, Megumin. Ice in the front line is Megumin. DJ Southpaw and Abrazite. Hopefully Abrazite is not gonna die very quickly. Pandora's box to increase the, increase the debuffs they have. Once again, ice in the front line, as most likely he's gonna be dead, but doesn't matter. Ice in the front line is Tuli. And then we got air and physical in the back, which is. Which is many mana actually. Wow, we completely counter those two. Let's go. Pretty easy. As you see, the, the, the concept of what we're trying to do is very simple. We just put the resistances based on what the opponents do. Uh, yeah, we're gonna try to assassinate the back line. I mean, she does back... Ooh, 70 and terrified. What does he do? You know, the ice damage in the front line isn't that dangerous, especially with Benimon healing her. So we're gonna go with... Uh, let's assassinate the back line today. Yeah, he gets his attack in. Oh, look at this, man. 3D morale damage. Yeah, backline's almost dead already. Yeah, that's the problem, though. The second unit is the problem. It does a bit too much damage. <laughs> he got even more debuff. Damage taken is increased by 30%. Well, he's toast. <laughs> that took us, like, literally one turn. Bye-bye. Okay, second... Second... Uh, well, you know, Megumin is most likely surviving. So, we're just gonna assassinate here the backline. If you tiredness, that means you do less damage and maybe the backline's gonna survive. Oh, my backline's borderline surviving. Come on, frontline also borderline surviving. Debuff the backline, he got reduced speed. Uh, yeah, we're gonna assassinate. Bye bye. And now the frontline is also terrified for no reason. And we're gonna definitely go with this that applies terrified too, so that I do more damage. And literally, I lost nobody. Bye bye. Easiest fight of my life. These scaredy cats. And I get a new trap. Ooh, this looks awesome. Look how the. Look how they look. They used to look like this here in the bottom. And now they look like this. And look how this looks, man. They are increasing their art. I'm, I'm super happy about how this goes. How this game is going. So we either got backline takes 3 nature damage. Who cares about this trap? 
Uh, everybody takes 20 air damage and also applies enhanced resistances to the next group. Ooh, that means for two turns, I have 20% less damage taken from all stats effect other than armor. This is good for defensive purposes. And this is the Pandora's box that we already have. I, I don't need the second Pandora's box. It's not really that I'm applying that many debuffs. I do apply debuffs, but I'm not like... It's not like a debuff build. Let's get the Xerox in the front line again. Uh, maybe these need relaxation, but in reality, I just hope we find him another... Uh, what is he called? Another... Well, first of all, I'm not going to go to the Engineer. Actually, am I? I'm thinking about going Trainer and then Engineer or something like this. The thing is that if I go Trainer, Trainer... Trainer, Trainer is just not happening. I'm thinking about going Engineer and Trainer into Trainer, like this line, and then Event. Or I can go Event into Trainer into Event. Mm, let's go Engineer. I mean, the traps are good. 50 damage, same effect. 20 damage, same effect. Um, this is bad upgrade. If, if this was Enchanted Resistance 3, then I would take it. We're gonna go with 50 damage, same event. And 20 damage, same... Uh, not really. I don't think the Pandora's Box is worth it. Let's go Trainer. 200 gold is a bit too much. Okay, uh, let's continue with South Bar carry, which doesn't gain anything. Uh, I mean, the heal is going to be more powerful, but he doesn't gain power, so I think he's maxed out for us. Applies elemental weakness to all heroes when Dark Magnus defeated. That's always not good, but 15 damage on this is decent. Siroch powers up this move, which is the good move. And also 20 damage. Ooh, this is going to be like a lot. I think this is a good choice. What do you gain, Mangumin? Yeah, we got the crit thing. Tuli, yeah, this and also a bunch of power. By the way, this guy doesn't even do moral damage. Gain 10 gold each time a monster of the group gains a soul fragment. Okay, I mean, he does no damage. Plus 50 morale, and wow, this is gonna be like 65 damage minimum. Yeah, we're gonna take this for sure. Uh, 65 and also applies demoralize. This is this is like a god build. And then he gains even more power next level. And we're gonna also go zero as he, she, he, she, whatever is powering up this and this. What did he get? 75 morale damage, what? And demoralize too. <laughs> this is very powerful. Uh, what else do we can go for? I guess I can go for him, as he buffs his two skills that are actually the good ones. What do you gain? A bit of power regains motivation when he kills. Now we're gonna go here. The, the front line is like our carry group. The front line is the group that just assassinates everybody. Let's go event. Giant accident. While dusting the dungeon, the cleaning goblin has freed a monster caught up in a spider web. He also accidentally woke up a giant spider queen who demands compensation for the direction of the webs. So I either give her 15 blood, which I don't really want to do, or uh, I fight her and lose 120 life. Yeah, we're obviously gonna go with fight. And I just got the free monster pretty much. So we're gonna take this free monster and we're gonna name it. Give me a sec. Okay, I'm back. We got Max Drew that joins the team as a Naga. Yep, let's go. And uh, we can either fight uh, uh, veterans for a trap and a bunch of money. Or a strong or easy fight for... I mean, I want the money. Honestly, I want the money. And there is a Doctor incoming anyway. Oh, by the way, Doctor is completely useless. It's a, it's an event that heals you, so we're not gonna go to Doctor. We're gonna go Merchant, most likely. Uh, yeah, let's go Veterans Fight. Let's go Veterans Fight. I wanna carry... I wanna get uh, carried here. Oh, by the way, if you enjoy the game and want to buy it, there is a, a link in the description below that is, like, unique to me, and it's showcasing that, uh, you know, you learned it from me if you want to, you know, uh, assist the channel. So, passive. Morale losses reduced by 50%. By the way, the link in the description is going to just send you in, in Steam. Like, I'm not getting any compensation for it. It's just that um, it gets tracked. Anyway, so uh, this guy is literally countering us, right? He takes 50% of this morale damage, which is bad. We're going to go with a pop quiz, obviously, as he has the, less, the least uh, morale. And he's most likely going to die right away to 140 morale. is not enough for you, my dude. Randomly moves enemies. Yeah, this is going to most likely kill us. Applies elemental weakness when attacking. Ooh, this is really bad. Yeah, we're going to most likely destroy this fight. So what are we fighting? We're fighting physical... Nature to all, ice to all, oh, we're dead. Physical in the front line is uh, literally only our reside. And then nature to all and ice to all, what can survive nature and ice? Uh, this definitely survives nature. And uh, ice, I think... Oh, this is nature and ice, Megumin. But I think I should just go with my dream team and just go for a quick win, right? Go Siroch and DJ Southpaw. And hopefully this team is so powerful that it's just gonna literally destroy everybody. Right? Like, that is the plan. Quote unquote plan. There is no actual plan. Let's go with Pandora's box. Oh, I could go for a little merch resistance. No, no, no. We're gonna assassinate the front line extremely fast. And here we're gonna go. Uh, this guy should be dead. So we're gonna go with ice nature resistance mostly. Ice and nature. Uh, Tuli is ice and nature. Yeah, Tuli definitely is gonna join. Although he doesn't do moral damage. Ice and nature. Well, ice is gonna destroy him. 
Naga is also not really that good. Banimat is definitely going to join us. It's the most powerful unit we have. So I guess the choice is between those two. Let's go with... I guess let's go with him. As he has 3 2 morale and Terrified. And Terrified is going to combo with um, Banimat a lot. <laughs> yeah, this guy's almost dead already. That thing did 60 damage to, uh, 50 damage to him. Oh, I forgot it. Ooh. Oh, no, I forgot it. Oh, no, I forgot it. Oh, no. I'm always forgetting this, man. Well, it doesn't matter at the end of the day. As long as the front line dies before it attacks once, um, it doesn't matter where my positioning is. Other than the fact that I no longer heal anybody. Okay, that's toast. And now we're going to lose all our units next turn pretty much. Uh, let's maybe try to assassinate the back line. Yeah, we're all dead. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> I like how the poof to smoke. Yeah, we increase the terrified stats effect there. Uh, I guess the only logical thing to do is uh, 3d5 moral damage to all. Nice. Yeah, it's your turn. Yep. Backline is dying right now. Uh, I can try to assassinate the backline. Air damage and demoralized. Does anybody else do backline damage? Like normal damage? Morale terrified. Nope. These guys do attack the front line. All right. Uh, morale demoralize the front line. Morale terrified the front line. You know what? I'm gonna try to go for front line damage. Maybe if we get rid of this guy. By the way, what is my resistances? I'm bad against both of these. <laughs> that is not good. Applies poison to monster with higher health. Morale loss are reduced. Randomly moves monsters. Applies elemental against when attacking. Yeah, I'm not sure what I should do. Uh, I guess we go with silence. Maybe it's gonna somehow help us. We're obviously gonna go for the morale damage and terrified. I know he takes less morale damage, but I, I, I don't really have that many choices here. At least that explosion helped. Wow! Wow! We're getting destroyed here. Well, you both have 25 less physical defense, so you're gonna get toasted by my insane physical attack. Look how much damage they take, man. How much damage they take. And rage means I do double damage, right? I have 53 soul shards. Oh, the soul shards gets, get gathered. Yeah, we're gonna go with a double Damocles and we're gonna end the fight in two turns. Or in three turns. Oh, I lose life, who cares? Boom, and next turn we're winning. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Bye bye. Bye bye. As you see, the champion is pretty powerful. And we got traps again. Same mortar. Mortar does 35 damage in the backline and burn. Ah, pretty relevant. And uh, nature damage. I guess all of these are relevant. Might as well take the rats just because they look awesome. Trained rats. <laughs> okay. And all of us lost. Um, yeah, as you see, all of us lost morale. And also specifically Abrazite and DG Southpaw are in a very bad spot right now. This is going to heal us, but I don't care about healing. I'm going to go to the merchant. Maybe we're going to find something good. Sometimes he's selling level 2 stuff. No, he's selling level 1 stuff. I... Don't really want any of these. Let's just leave. Let's go to a... I could go plunder. Oh, there is a therapist thing coming, and I do have 50 tiers, so... I think I should go, actually, for a business trip and hope for a relic, maybe. Oof, oof, oof. Monsters have a 20% chance to deal a critical strike when attacking. No, not really. Uh, lose your rock or lose Nicol Bolas. Let's lose Nicol Bolas. Let's lose Nicol Bolas. Gain the money. Uh, let's go trainer and then therapist. So trainer. What was the choice again? Choice. Siroch. This monsters of the group deal more moral damage if they have negative. And also this. 15 more. That means this is going to do 90. So we're going to definitely do this. As you see, this costs us blood. Yeah, let's do this. And um, what do you gain? I pledge one run penalty to three of the heroes affected by... I guess it's either going to increase how much penalty it does, or it's going to apply more debuffs. But the most important part is plus 20 power and plus 10 to all resistances. What did it do? I can't even look. Can I see it over here, though? What did he gain? He gained two random penalties. Perfect. Let's send somebody in the back line. Let's send him in the back line. Monsters and traps can't be moved around during... Oh, because I'm in the... Yeah, okay, I have to leave. I'm gonna send Sparks here in the back line. And uh, now we're gonna go with Therapist, obviously. We're gonna give him a good old 20 souls. Boom. Now we have literally everybody with back motivated. Everybody's happy. Veterans for an artifact and less gold or the joke fight for a master bonus and more gold. I'm gonna go with the joke, not the joke fight, but you know, easier fight with master bonus and also more gold. Should I let somebody sleep? 
I don't think so. Let's go with the adventure fight here. Uh, artifacts are good in general, but I still believe master bonus is a bit more important. Let's go, because arti artifacts are hit or miss, while master bonuses most of the time are at least something is going to be decent. What can we go with here? Gives 25 maximum moral after fight, yeah, classic. Once with the lowest size resistance start the fight, heals, blah, blah, blah. Okay, nature damage in the backline, fire and... Okay, air and nature is in the backline and fire is in the front. Fire in the front is obviously the flaming unit. Okay, and air and nature in the backline is most likely nobody. Air and nature, that's negative nature. This is positive both, and this is also positive both. Wow, wow, okay. I would say DJ South in the middle, as it's one of my most powerful units, and Zero in the back, as it's also one of my most powerful units. Let's go with a pop cool. What is this? Can't be affected by demoralized. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Uh, I guess we go with pop quiz regardless. I guess we go with pop quiz regardless. Here, here, pass. And here we're gonna go with the good old silence harp, so we protect our units. And then here we're gonna go with fire in the front. Fire in the front is the naga. Wow. Okay, I guess we play the naga and then air and nature for the backline. Air and nature is nobody in the backline. Nice, nobody. <laughs> well, there is a higher chance that the air enemy is gonna be dead than the nature enemy, so I guess we're gonna go with something that has nature resistance. We're gonna go with Benivana, it's level 3 and 2 as it's, I guess, resisting. Not a not a good matchup for us. Only boom. Okay, uh, let's get rid of... I think the backline first. Oh, this does a frontline attack. How does this? Applies Demoralize though. Well, Applies Demoralize is useless. She has neg- Does anybody have negative air resistance? Yeah, both of these. Yeah, let's go with frontline. Let's go with frontline. Zombie. As this nature damage is bad for us. Let's go uh, here. <laughs> Almost dead already. We're still alive. Yeah, that, that, that was the bad thing. Let's go with uh, burn, I would say. So that the opponents start getting debuffs. As that guy obviously, you know, applies debuffs. <laughs> and he's not gonna die. That's the main uh, thing to take away here. Oh no! So much damage, watch out. <laughs> well, look at this. Oh, she got the soul fragment. And she's dead. She died a hero, though. Look how many defenses they, they lost. Okay, these guys are toast, it's over. What is he doing, by the way? Air damage. Okay, air damage we are resistant to. The front line has already demoralized, so we don't need to attack him anymore. Boom. These guys take ice damage, frost die damage, everything damage. Yeah, you attack once and that's your life. Ah! That guy does a lot of damage. You take this. Boom. And he's toast. You take this too. Easy win. We lost only a bit of def uh, a bit of morale here in the backline, but who cares. What do we get? Resistance plus 5. This is decent. Decay is the move I'm never using. And this is Democles Sword is more powerful. I'm gonna go with more damage. I'm gonna go with more damage, not with resistances. Because as always, best defense, um, the offense. Let's go event instead of merchant. Okay, a wandering troubadour. Offers to sing and employees in exchange for a modest with... Yeah, okay. 50 coins for one morale. One, two, three. People need it. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna keep you up. Or, or... Oh, oh, oh. With the right employee, you could convince him to sing for free. We're gonna go for this. We gain this for free. We are lucky. This, by the way, is an RNG thing. Like, if you happen to have the RNG, the, the employee that the game rolls... What are the choices here? Two of your employees have been caught red-handed, brawling like two elves for a hairbrush. Will you tough surprise them for five weeks or threaten them with a pay cut to be sure they won't happen again? You could always buy them a second hairbrush. If I ignore, then um, then the next event that I find is gonna kill them both for or one of the two dies for 15 weeks or something. So ignore is not a good choice. I'm gonna go with not sanction because I want them for the fight, especially the just house boss. So we're gonna lose the money here. And we're gonna even motivate them. We obviously lost both of these. Oh no, that, that this was a very good opportunity. It's a bit sad that you cannot see the what's upcoming. Yeah, that was a mistake. Anyway, we're gonna go curse and we're gonna be a bit sad. Yeah, that's for 250 you gain two levels. We're gonna go therapist here for free pretty much. Or I can sell Max Dero on the black market for like coinage. But uh, no, we're gonna go and uh, get free morale here for free. Let's get the free morale. Boom, thank you. And here we even got champions now. 
So this champion gives us a rare, but there is also a champion in that fight, which champions are very dangerous. But the rare they're gonna give us might be really powerful. Collectors is money, and there's an event incoming. What other choices do I have? I don't think, really think I have that many choices, so let's just go with this one. By the way, I'm playing pretty slowish. 15 minutes for this whole thing is a bit slow. Anyway, um, Aaron, I mean, it doesn't matter what they do. Oh, this is an extremely dangerous fight. 48 damage, nature to everybody. This is very dangerous. Remove three stacks of for from each penalty applied to the druidness at the start of their turn, and damage dealt reduced to return friend for each penalty applied to the druidness. This is uh, this, this is like death sentence territory right here. We're gonna go with defend our team. <laughs> we're gonna go with defend our team. Uh, we're gonna play the dream team here. It doesn't matter what um, resistance we have. Air dam. Air, the only the only thing that matters is air resistance in the front. Okay, Shiro, Digit Southpaw, Arizite. Let's go. Okay, uh, pop quiz, I guess. N not that it really matters. It should damage the backline. Nope. We, we might lose the run right at this point. <laughs> Just so you guys know, this is a very dangerous fight. 53 air resistance in the front. I guess it's Benny Man. But how much nature? Minus 25. Okay, Benny Man is toast. Nature resistance. Who else has nature resistance? <laughs> Almost nobody. Tully doesn't even do morale damage. Yeah, I mean, Nickel Balls definitely joins. And then. I, I, I guess, I guess she sparks, I guess she sparks, yeah, and we spam tiredness and hope for the best. Okay, my next units are defended now. I had one job, man, I had one job to remember the passive, at least this guy has 4 air resistance, so it's not gonna, he's not gonna get one shot, but, I mean, all of them are insane air resistances. Let's try to get rid of the front line, or the back line. Actually, what do I do more damage to? This is front line. This is back line. Applies terrified. Yeah, we're gonna go with the back line. Uh, you can attack the front line as you wish. Your weakness. No, that's. Yeah, you attack the front line. Preparation. If only the bosses are alive when we get to the final area, we're gonna be good to go. Oh, we're gonna lose so much life here. No, no! This swap, man. The swap. Is it so hard to remember that there is a swapping coming? Like, it, they should have the swap. I, I think the only like, The swap is the one thing that kills me very consistently. Like, kills my, my runs and my builds very consistently. Even from the old times. It's like the one mechanic that I never remember to read. What to say? What to say? Apply Terrified to the... Let's just go for the Flame Strike. Okay, let's get rid of the front line. And now we only have to deal with the champion. Which is gonna obviously kill us here in one shot. It is what it is. Let's go next. Hee 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 boom, take a bit of morale damage. We could have, it could have gone so much better if I forgot, if I remembered. Wait, the silence can't use hero skills. The silence... The silence um, remove the, the penalty thing. Gain one additional soul fragment if at least one soul fragment has been gained using the spell. I guess this. I mean, I have no idea. I still don't know how exactly the soul fragments are getting, gotten. Uh, we're gonna go with Tiredness, maybe, and here we're gonna go with Demoralized. Oh, Damage and Demoralized, or Morale and Demoralized, yeah, Morale and Demoralized. And you are gonna do Morale and Terrified. Yeah, we got this, if we don't get one shot right now. Okay, we got this easily, easily, easily. Continue with Tiredness, yeah, she has Tiredness 3. Continue with uh, this thing, and she is Toast. Or not. Or, or we are toast. And this thing exploded. Uh-oh. Panic mode. By the way, as they lose morale when they uh, when an ally dies, they gain morale when my units die. So morale is pretty fluctuating. Ah, oh, man. Very dangerous. Bye-bye. <laughs> I showed her some skulls and she left. Okay. We got the following things. We either got death, which is uh, Nikiforos. <laughs> He has a Greek name, literally. Oh, this is this is this is very fun to me. Um, 3D physical damage and applies demoralized, which is bad. Special, what is special? This is new. 60 moral minus 60 moral targets the hero with the lowest life percent. Eh, percent. So what does it target if everybody's full? Passive uses harvest when a hero loses full fragment, taking the hero as the target. Wait, uses harvest when a hero loses a soul fragment. Taking the hero as the target. Assuming that Harvest is his second move, that means that whenever somebody loses Soul Fragments, he's gonna also do another 60 damage on top of that. That's what I understand. 25% uh, chance. 
that monsters defeated come back as skeleton. Well, that's pretty useless because the skeletons do physical damage. And uh, 50 life or morale, depending on which is lower. To everybody. To everybody. But I think I want this. I want Nikiforos. I want here the Greek guy. Okay, all of these lost morale. <laughs> Motivation. Uh, the, uh, collectors is gain money. I'm gonna go with gain money and then we're gonna go sanctuary. Let's go gain money. So I prefer to obviously lose, li uh, lose life. Yeah, I lose 240 life to gain money. I, I don't care about my unit's life here. I'm gonna go event. Broken trap. This is... We lose Pandora's box for five weeks. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. I don't need to spend money for that. Let's go Sanctuary. This is a, a buff for the team. For uh, 15 weeks. So I either gain that... Uh, all opponents gain three... Start with three bleed. All opponents start with 53 poison. All opponents start with minus resistances. Let's go with minus resistances. All of these were bad. See what we find. First of all, can I go into fight with this group? Yes. Nikiforos needs to name the name. I think he has a Greek name, but I'm gonna change the name. Okay, I forgot again to not showcase this. I'm I'm pressing the buttons of continue the recording with whatever doesn't matter. Nikiforos now has become Konope. So let's go on. I, I'm mixing up the button that shows the patrons with the button that pauses the, the, the video. Let's uh artifact. I could go for an artifact, although is it a good idea right now? Is maybe Something coming up? No, we're gonna go trainer and work out next. Hmm, let's go. Oh, there was disasters in the other rooms too. Disasters makes everything very easy. Oh, let's go for the artifact. Let's go fight the artifact. I want to get an artifact, at least one. At least one artifact, man. At least one. Maybe there's an artifact that's gonna give us something that has to do with. Oh, this is a bad fight. Can you think my poison? Who cares? Regenerates thirty percent of max life and gets thirty percent for maximum morale back when all other heroes are defeated. Okay, well she has. Morales, wow, Morales reduced by 50%. What a passive troll. Do you see this passive thing here? Yeah, that's the thing that they should make. Visible dodge activation for trap. Okay, we're gonna go with pop quiz. Physical in the front, special. 58 ice, applies blade, targets with the slowest monster. Okay. Physical in the front, physical in the back. And ice to the slowest. Well, Abrozide is gonna be the slowest. We're gonna go physical in the front. Physical in the back does not exist. Oh, physical in the back is Konope. Nice. So we're gonna do DJ South Pond Konope. We're not gonna play Zero. Do they have a negative wind resistance? No, they don't. So the passive of 35 additional is not gonna even pay attention. Yeah, I think we're pretty decent here. Does anybody else have physical resistance? Yeah, I mean, I, I have to play both Abrazite and Konope. Like, that's definitely happening. And I want to have. Uh, I want to have a Brazite in the front because he has 3D speed and that means that this is definitely going to hit him, with the, which is ice damage. Yeah, I guess the other choice would be to... No, this is what we're going to play with. Once again, physical in the front, physical in the back. Physical in the front. Uh, well, we're pretty toast here. I guess we're going to most likely kill the, for the back line first, so I would say we go with physical in the front with Nicol Bolas. We're gonna go in the middle with... Man, these are all level 1s. We're gonna go middle with Bianiman because he does a bunch of damage and I don't want him to get hit. And might as well YOLO Tuli out of the universe with the backline just existing to block the hits. And here there are no other monsters. The, the quote-unquote next group of monsters does not exist. So we're gonna go with Tainted Rats just to, I don't know, do poison damage. Might as well do air to everybody. What is the release resistance? Okay, poison damage is... Let's go with air. I guess both are useless there. Both are trash. Boom. Both of them get hit, obviously. Okay, everybody gets power. They do 30% more damage. I think I need to get rid of... Let's go for the backline. I think I can get... Oh, oh, that happens on its own! Insane, insane. Insane. Memento Mori. Ah, Harvest is this thing. Oh, so he, whenever I steal a soul fragment, this guy does a free demoralize on them. Well, we're gonna obviously go with this. Boom. And he got our soul fragment, and so he sliced again. I love this guy. Oh, how often do you gain soul fragments? In this game. <laughs> okay, backline is pretty much toast. From uh, the fact that he has... It's about to lose 25 morale. So... We're just gonna go with AoE. Yeah, backline is guaranteed dead. We're gonna go with a good old... This. Remove all bones from the target. Okay, attack boost is considered irrelevant now. 
Well, that's bad. Yeah, I don't want to waste this. Ah, it is what it is, I guess. I mean, the backlink is guaranteed dead, so this is literally useless to be done right now. Yeah, backlink's dead, you see. Literally useless. And I continue smacking. I love it. That was obviously bad because this guy's not going to survive the hit here. How often do I gain souls, man? I didn't even realize. Burial. Let's get rid of the backline. This guy is insanely awesome. Boom. Now again on its own. Yeah, again on its own. I love this guy, man. I'm going to level him up when I get the chance. No. Wait, and he died and he still did his thing, man. Host. Uh, you know what I can go for? I can go with the good old silence. Let's go do this. I got two fragment. Yeah. Yeah. Bye bye. Your money. Money. And you know what? I can. Yeah, let's slow play in case I can get them. No, there is no slow play happening. <laughs> nice. So, what do we get? Heroes with less than 5% of their maximum shield is also. Uh, morale lose also resistances. Grants 50% uh, chance to apply frostbite with monster attacks which deal morale. This is good. Monsters in the front get alive one life. We're gonna go with this. We're gonna go with a uh, monster in the front line survives a hit. Uh, we're gonna go trainer for sure. I still have this buff. The debuff, I guess. What does this guy gain? <laughs> more power to the good skill. And also plus 20 power, which means plus more on this damage. 400 to level that guy up. This does 80 and it's about to get even more powerful. 425. Oh man. Please tell me there is more and I want to level this guy up. Please tell me there is more. Because we're closing into the final fight. We're gonna go work out, obviously. Uh, I mean, I've been avoiding using all these, but... How much speed do I have? 60 speed. The speed is completely useless. It just does not allow the point. I don't want any of these. Champion. I think this is the final fight. It might not be, but still, I think so. Merchant, business trip, event. Let's go a good old event. Maybe it's gonna give us motivation. I mean, yeah, I mean, for free level. Bargain, free level. Boom, plus one level on that guy. Yep, this is literally the last fight, so we're gonna go one more event. The event is that we gain a crystal skull, 25% chance to get a thing. Yeah, we're gonna take that, I don't need the money anymore. So, whenever a unit of ours dies, and now it doesn't matter that I'm almost run out of... Um, yeah, it, it, it tells me to send them back to not lose DG Southpaw, but it literally doesn't matter. The backline does not have any powerful unit other than Bianiman. I think we're good. We're good. We're good. It's a win. It's a win. We easily win this. We easily win these. Let's go on. Uh, what do you do? It gives 2% of all heroes maximum mile back at the start of each turn. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Completely countered. And this guy is the one that switches them. No, this is not the one that switches them. This cannot be affected by demoralized. The game is literally trying to kill us right now. And uh, this is uh, fire damage in the backline. I mean, applies burn to monsters who deal damage to the Pyromancer and to attacks regenerate. Wait, the attacks regenerate 10% of the Pyromancer's maximum life if the target is affected by burn. Okay, who cares about life? Uh, um, yeah, removes all penalties with the monster's attacks, blah, blah, blah. Okay, nothing important. Ice in the front. Ice in the front is only Konope. Ice and fire in the front. Okay, that's a sacrifice pretty much. Yeah, ice. I, that, that, that does not exist. Ice and fire does not exist. I guess we go with Abrozite and uh, we hope kill the ice opponent very quickly. And then fire damage the backline. That does exist. As DJ Southpaw. 72 fire damage. DJ Southpaw is going to die very quickly. Can bring. You know, maybe I should just have Zero on the front. And yeah, Zero is even going to fight even faster. I definitely want Conop and Jesus Southpaw. Zero is good and all, but. Conop is very powerful, with a, a constant physical damage and demoralization, especially because all of these have minus physical damage defense. Now we're gonna go Conop in the middle as protection, and uh, DJ Southpaw, although he has fire resistance with 85 life, he's gonna get two shot. It, it is what it is. There is no real uh, other option here. We're gonna go Pop Quiz as that's what does the most damage, and then here we're gonna go with. Actually, you know what? I think here I should go with. Oh, we're gonna go Pop Quiz. I could go with Protect My Allies. Do they have air resistance? They don't really have air resistance. Let's go with Protect My Allies. Let's go with Shine's Harp. And here we're gonna go with a good old... Well, theoretically, this, this is gonna be dead. So, only fire resistance matters. Well, 
Nicole Bolas has a bunch of fire resistance, and Maxtro has a bunch of fire resistance, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much. So we're gonna go boom, the animal because the most powerful one in the middle, and Maxtro in the back. And now we just hope for the best, man. We just hope for the best. Pop quiz at the end, you know. Literally at the end, it's gonna be like we got a pop quiz. Let's go. Holy boom. Yep. Uh, whoa, that's a good hit. Nice. Oh, backline's dead already. Oh, at least I got one turn in. And at least I got one turn in. Let's try to assassinate the front line. But he's gonna die with 80 with 59 life. He's not surviving. Oh, he's alive! He's alive! He's alive! Don't attack, man. Okay, debuff everybody. I mean they are already super debuffed. I guess I can debuff them further. Let's go here. Soul fragment, boom. Harvest? Yeah, you're toast. Memento Mori! Boom. Bye bye. Okay. Uh, has the time come to target the backline? The boss, that is. Let's go. Boom. Backline's toast. We knew that's gonna happen. Oh, we got the skeleton. And Kimidera. That's not enough. This is super fire resistant. Debuff more. Let's go here. We're gonna target the boss. Come on. Nice. Boom. Let's go. I love this mechanic so much. Uh, we're gonna go for a 20% chance to stun. We didn't roll it. Heal alive. Random shot. That's gonna add the scythe on top of that, right? I guess not. Doesn't matter, man. We won. Boom. Bye bye. Boom. You're also toast, man. I love this character so much, man. So much. So much. So much. You know what? We're gonna keep you alive so that the Reaper gets you. Take the Reaper Scythe. Boom! Bye bye! Easy. Let's listen up. We've received a crystal ball call from the beyond. An economic crisis. Congratulations! <laughs> Congratulations! A crystal ball call. We're well on our way to dominating the interdimensional soul market. Some psychopomps have to look for work on other worlds. And not just any psychopomps. Death in the non flesh. <laughs> in the non flesh, in nice. Life, I think. And in any case, death is quite famous. You're now in charge. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. And now I have a nice load of bodies for my army. Yeah, we got more bodies for the army. Experience gain, boom. There is a Do meta progression aspect in this game. Like, uh, you have actual levels and um, talent points that you have to use, you know. So there is like a talent tree over here. And uh, now I do understand what the, the chance to Soul Fragment is, though. Now, now I do understand. So I guess uh, you just have a random chance to just get random Soul Fragments. Now, in the second fight, as you see, we start with death, which is insane. And I also start with a Baron. And this guy is one of the most powerful ones for morale damage. So the second fight is most likely going to be awesome. Yama. And the front line, who knows? Horse face. <laughs> yeah, anyway, that's pretty much the next uh, thing. I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue playing this or not. Like, that depends solely upon if people actually watch this or not. Uh, hopefully, people do watch this. Once again, if you enjoy the game and want to buy it, I uh, would really appreciate it if you go to Steam through my link. It literally nothing changes. You still buy it from the Steam store. It just showcases that uh, you bought it uh, through me, I guess. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, thanks for the sponsorship. Once again, um, you know, sponsors. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, that's it. Nothing else to say. I really enjoy the game still. The game is awesome. The game was always awesome. I just started to play other games, right? It's it's not like uh, the game ever fell off in what you do. It's it's just uh, it's it's you 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 complete you, you, uh, it has so much to offer, right? In, in general, like you you have the talent tree on the hero, the skill, the talent tree on the masters. You have um, the new units. You have so many monsters, so many artifacts, so many things to go through, like. I, I even hadn't time to level up all the things. I already got excited to level up Scythe. Like, I, I found a new monster that I like, the, the death monster, which is awesome. I love it. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for all the Patreon members and supporters. And if you also want to help me, just drop a like upside the channel. And as I said, if you want to buy the game, use my link. That would also help pretty much. And um, yeah, I think that's it pretty much. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely did. Thanks for watching. And see you guys around.